Which of the following syndromes is most likely associated with these findings? Cowden syndrome, Gardner syndrome, hereditary hemorrhagic telangiectasias, Peutz-Jagger syndrome, or serrated polyposis syndrome. So this is a 60-year-old man with a history of recurrent nosebleeds. He undergoes an upper endoscopy for evaluation of iron deficiency anemia. Endoscopy reveals multiple smooth submucosal nodules throughout the stomach, and then biopsies of the nodules reveal AV malformations. Um, I think the best situation I've got here is just to eliminate answers because I don't exactly know the diagnosis, but I know several of these. Um, serrated polyposis doesn't exactly make sense because the mo- the nodules aren't serrated in the stomach. Plus, I'm pretty sure that'd be in the colon. Um, Peutz-Jagger syndrome, you would have like the you would have mouth and tongue involvement. You would, mm-hmm. so that's not, I'm going to say that's not correct. Heredit, uh, hereditary hemorrhagic telangiectasias. Don't, I think you also get telangiectasias on the mouth with that. So that's probably not right. Um, Gardner syndrome is the combination of familial adenomatous polyposis with um, osteomas and some kind of fibrosis. So that's not right. So I'm going to go with Cowden syndrome. Final answer. Yeah. So it's actually C, actually. Okay. So this is a little bit tricky because they gave you nosebleeds, okay? If you have um, HHT, right, um, hereditary hemorrhagic telectanges, right, they didn't give you specifically the telectanges in the nose, right, but that's what causes so many nosebleeds. And then also on top of that, right, iron deficient anemia, meaning that they have a lot of nosebleeds or a lot of bleeding in general, right? Yeah. And then all of a sudden, right, you take a biopsy and it gives you AV malformations. And HHT is notorious for creating AV malformations, which is why sometimes if you have too many AV malformations, what can that lead to? High output cardiac failure. Bingo. Yeah. So that's kind of the next step of questions, right? But kind of knowing that, you know, you can have, you know, a lot of nosebleeds, AV malformations. And of course, you know, I think it'd be a little bit too easy for them to say, oh yeah, he has telic changes too, right? So this one's a little bit kind of trickier, but okay. sometimes, yeah, but sometimes they'll describe a telic change and tell, telling you it's a telic change, which is kind of that spider web superficial vessels, right? So. Okay. So the multiple smooth submucosal nodules, are those tele- telangiectasias? No, no, no. This is something weird. I think these nodules, the, the reason why they gave you it is so that it can tell you that it's AV malformation after the biopsy. But telectanges are not usually nodules. They're just kind of flat, like superficial spider web looking vessels that like to break and bleed. So Okay. Yeah. That makes sense.